guys, and welcome to game two of Dank Boys Dying vs. Bam. Fish. And I'm not alone this time. Joining me is Adam. Don't know if he'll be talking much, but he's going to be doing stats for us. Yeah. And we have Ron Paul in the channel with us as well. So maybe he'll talk at some point. Are you, uh, have you opened your mic? Radiance ban. And disabled mute code broadcasters and all that stuff? Because I can't actually hear you. So Troll and Lion banned out first by Dank Boys. Troll was very, very strong last game. Uh, keeping f in the front of the fight and letting Sniper do his thing at the back. Ten seconds Lion to ten seconds to was go. was first banned last time by Fish again, was it? Five seconds. You remember, Adam? Yeah, uh, Lion was first banned by Fish. Yeah, so Reserve time. that's going to be the standard one. And then... Sniper as Radiant well, so ban. very reactionary first bands, and a Shadow Dyer's Fiend pick. was also banned last time as well, if I recall. Excuse me. So, what is Dank Boys gonna pick now that they've banned out everything that Fish played last time almost? Certainly thinking about it, TOP does like to take his time over his selection. Ten seconds to go. It's like, perhaps it's uh, the extra bit of care. As a... Uh, Max. Radiant pick. One. So they pick up an axe first. Very strong initiator. Can be played typically off lane, can be and then can transition to the jungle if he's having a bad time. So five seconds. Overall a pretty strong pickup and a good counter to breed bother if time. fish were thinking about playing that. Pick up a vengeful spirit instead. Pick. Good strong. Uh Good strong roaming support and in lane with that very strong stun and lots of physical DPS going as to accompany it. Yeah, they have a hundred percent um, win rate with Venge as well. Yeah, sounds good. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Reserve time. So, let's see what Snuffle's going to pick this time. Tide to pick up the storm. Eventually, if Dyer's pick. Mm -hmm. Could do. And we have a Tide Hunter picked up. Strong offlaner for Snuffle, very good team fighting hero. Can be quite good at counter initiating as well if he's not caught out by the axe call. Uh, so, you have to be careful with that one. So, Fish have secured their offlane with Ten the uh, Tides and Ventral Spirit as their support, which Five Tank seconds. Boys currently have there, what I believe to be an offlane hero as well, who, depending on the match, could go mid if. Reserve now, time. this is quite ancient. If uh, Dank Boys play, if uh, Fish played a, um, a, a, a Lycanid, but they pick up a Skyrath Mage instead. It's a good team fighting ultimate to combo with the Axe Call, something to keep them in place Radiant as ban. they uh, take all the damage from Mystic Flare. The Dazzle instant banned out. This is are they are they banning the entire draft of Fish from last game? I mean, are they going to ban out the Shadow Demon in the, uh... What was the last hero? Ten Wind seconds Runner. to go. I mean, it'll be a little bit excessive, I think. Five seconds. Fish ban out the Abaddon, something Dank Dyer's Boys ban. played last game. So, Axe Abaddon, perhaps a better combo than the Bristol Abaddon. With the uh, guaranteed damage coming in. But, uh...
Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Reserve time. So TOP, eating into his reserve time there. It is there to be used, so... Deciding what his fourth ban is going to be, whether or not it's going to be that Windrunner that was played last time by Fish. That's the AA, actually. Uh, clearly Radiant don't want to tighten to AA strong AOE ulti combo. Which is fair enough, that is, it. That is as I said, a very strong combo. I wouldn't. So I certainly wouldn't want to face up against that. Ten okay. seconds to go. So, hey, hey, you can hey. hear me now. Yeah, I can hear. Ah, uh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear. You. Okay, right. nice. Okay. So what's up? Can they hear me? Can they hear me now or what? Yeah, they can hear you now. So oh. I'm, I'm recording it. Are you broadcasting into Dota TV or? You need to set that up. I have no idea what's up with casting and etc. Because this is my first time. Ah, okay. Ever, yeah. Ever. Dyer's Anyways, so I have an echo. Like I have echo. Like I can hear you twice at the moment. Is it my? That, that's because I'm broadcasting in game, and you've got uh, enable co enable uh, co broadcasters um, not enabled. So you're hearing me in Dota TV and in Skype. Can I disable it somehow? Yeah, if you go into the options menu, uh, it'll be in the, under uh, Ten seconds to video go. and audio uh, on the right. Mute, Mute off, off, yes. And oh, you right. can That's enable nice. open mic down there in the middle, which will let people hear you in Dota TV. So. Ah. Reserve time. Oh, you can broadcast as well there. Alright. Wait, so, where's the enable? On the advance or something? It's in the middle, on the uh, audio video tab. Oh, okay, thanks, okay. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so let's see. What, what their first fan is Troll Sniper, really a common lion, Shadow Fiend. I guess some people are afraid of more Shadow Fiend. Maybe it's a bit fan because they have top against them. Yeah. But yeah, in general, let's see. First mm. picks, Tide Hunter, really strong. I feel like. um. I feel like um, they they ignored they ignored Juggernaut in the first phase, yeah, and, they, and they're still ignoring it. I feel like a, a, a Snuffle team should pick it. Well, last game it went through completely unpicked and unbanned as well. So oh, yeah. maybe uh, the uh, nerfs to it have been enough that they're looking towards something else instead. Because uh, the Juggernaut in general is uh, is really decent against. Uh, uh, like silence heroes, because er every hero that Radiant is a manta carrier is a good mm -hmm. hero against silence. It. Because you you naturally you'll just build the manta most likely on agility heroes like juggernaut, anyways, yeah. because you can split push the waves without any any threat to yourself. And they have axe that axe is always a threat to you. So you use just use the manta to push the wave, and also you'll you'll have counters to the silences. So juggernaut is is a good pick in here, I feel like, but. I'm not sure what their mentality is, because they pick Lich, and Lich is usually a, a thing that you use to win the lane in the laning phase. It's a, it's a laning phase hero. Not yeah. a, like, they, I think they could be going an aggro lane, something like Deserve. Lich, Venge, and the Viper being just really tanky and hard to kill, and then perhaps getting a kill on their own with uh, the Venge stun. Yeah, yeah. And then that, definitely. That would leave the uh, Tide Solar safe, and then probably pick a farming mid of their own. The problem at the moment is I... I would like if I was playing them. I would send Tide Hunter Lynch top lane because they they lose the lane anyway. Sky Rat, Witch Doctor, and Throw are too strong with the buffing aura. So yeah. whatever they send, they lose it anyways. But if they send Tide Hunter and Lich, at least Tide Hunter and Lich can get some XP mm -hmm. other than just uh, teaching the lane. You know. Yeah. I feel like the Lich has to do something uh, reasonably big, otherwise he's gonna be. Uh, kind of a drain on his team because you know a lich that's just there to sacrifice creeps is pretty useless. Yeah, exactly. I feel that as well. And I don't. Well, I personally don't know if a tied lich is going to be enough. Really, I think they have to go like a proper aggro lane to make it worthwhile. Yeah, I think it comes to the last pick what it's going to be right now. Yeah. Like if if let's say Axe goes off lane, Viper can easily win one versus one, even zone him out from the X. Ah. 
Mm, so okay. That's the safe lane on mid, I think. Yeah, that's. It, it depends if if the drow's going mid. I think that's fine if they put the Medusa up against her, and then yeah. that would leave the other four to sort out their lanes between them. So you could have the solo safe tide if you wanted. Yeah. I think uh, the best choice for them. I I don't know their mentality. I don't know their player on Smuffle team, but like the best way would be Damn send Medusa to good. the middle lane, send Lich and Tide Hunter to the top lane, and Viper and Venge to the seconds. bottom lane, because. Leech can drain the creeps, get the lane control for Tide Hunter to get some Reserve levels. Time. While Leeches Leech can stack the jungle for, I mean, the ancients for Tide Hunter, while Vengeful can stack the other creeps in the jungle for Medusa. Mm -hmm. So if you send like Wiper to the safe lane, Wiper will beat any, any off laner who comes. So they'll yeah. have a lot of stacks, and they have really good stack, uh, stack killers. What do, you, what do you reckon they're doing with the uh, axe pick? Actually, yeah, that's a, that's really interesting. I, I uh -huh. when when I play, play it or pick it in as captains or somewhat, and I always go dual lanes with it, because in in solo he can't do much, but with duels he can like contest the lane on the off lane. But it, again, if they go wiper safe lane with range of spirit, not it's not much that Skyrat and Axe, for, for example, can do. They could do like an Axe Witch Doctor combo, so a good amount of heals yeah. and a decent stun. Yeah, exactly. But w Viper can still like free Yeah, the vi there's there's nothing there that's gonna threaten a Viper in lane, I don't think. Yeah, but the, it all depends their lanes now. Mm -hmm. And actually, like the Storm Spirit pick is quite good at, at this because Storm the, can basically free farm now in the middle lane because his attack damage will be higher than anyone else's. Yeah. Ten seconds to go. It, I mean, if he's against the, if he's gonna against the Viper, he's gonna struggle a little bit, I reckon. But against the Medusa, uh, yeah. should have no real issue. But they have few supports. Both yeah. two supports can stack jungle for Storm, and Storm is a really good stack at taker as well. Mm -hmm. So, better get cameraman. Ready. I am cameraman. Success, I believe. Yes, so T.O.P. is going to be playing the Storm Spirit. Supernova is the Drow Ranger. Steluxa is going to be the Axe. Rosencrantz is the Witch Doctor. And Vukapella ends up the Dire lineup with the Skyrath Mage. And on the bot lane, we have Snuffle playing the Viper for the Radiant. We have Ormanev on the Vengeful Spirit. We have Luda on the Medusa. Uh, we have Raw on the Lich. And Hazel is the... <laughs> Hazel is the Tidehunter. So I'm guessing the lanes are going like I expected. They put the Lich and Tidehunter off lane. Viper and uh, Vengeful bot and Medusa middle. That's... It, it made the most sense, but the key factor for Radiant team, it's for me, it seems like they have to stack. If they don't stack, there's no point picking Medusa, both, both Medusa and Tidehunter. Yeah. I mean, a bot lane is going to be, looks like, to be Witch Doctor Axe versus this... Then uh... you actually goes Wave of Terror level 1. Interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. That, that must be a mist level. Or... It doesn't really make sense My right now. You know? So... Up. Storm gets one rune, and then Viper gets the other, so yeah. Luda actually does start blocking instead of going for the rune, so should have an easier, at least initially, especially with one creep less as well, versus the yes. Storm. I would have, like, if you're going off lane and you're committing two heroes to the off lane against Stroh and two, two like, uh, range heroes, you should have uh, denied, denied top lane, because you need the instant lane control to get the advantage you want, yeah. because the whole point of Liches is winning the lane. All right, yeah. carry on. I mean, you can deny, you can deny creep in 15 seconds, I suppose, so... I suppose, yes. It's just early well, game with the uh, Skyrath Harass is going to be quite painful, particularly since the Tide chose to get uh, Anchor Smash rather than Kraken level 1. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah, Anchor Smash was a little bit um, too hasty to pick it too, too soon. And this is what I mean, like, he didn't deny the first wave, they already lost the first wave. The enemy yeah. team got you, the whole lane control. Now, now they can't get the lane control anymore with Lich and Tide. They don't so even have a, they don't even have that much regen. I mean, Lich's got two tangos and Tide's now down to two and a salve. Yes. So, uh, it's a, it's like a little thing, but now two, they lost the first wave control. Now the second wave is already out of control. So they basically 
lost like few waves because they didn't deny the top lane. It's the small things that gather up in eventually. Yeah. So let's see, let's see how the bottom lane. Bottom lane is a really hard lane for Ax and Witch Doctor, I feel like. But and especially like Vengeful Spirit is doing a good job denying the XP that that Ax needs so much. But Ax is ca can can take the stack now, which is a bad idea. I don't yeah. know why he they even stacked or who stacked for it. Yeah. It was kind of an unlucky stack getting the um, medium um, satyrs. Yeah, so. Yeah. But now the the Scarath Mage is out of uh, magic mana. He's only got one clarity left, so perhaps this is now where the Titan can get something back without the uh, constant harass from the Scarath Mage, although he is quite low. Yeah, but then now the the, the problem is already that Draw Ranger Someone has the farm like and stuff. No. They even have a have a ring of passages that Sky, Skywrath gets a a little bit of mana. So yeah, I feel like the lane is lost already. Yeah, like there. Like, I think now, uh, Tide Hunter should use his health potion, and maybe somehow Skywrath and the uh, Draw Ranger will out commit too much, and maybe then they can kill. Yeah. But actually, no, it's not possible. I I, I, I was thinking because uh, Lich had a invisibility rune top lane, and yeah. That's in general, uh, Draw Ranger didn't buy boots yet. But yeah. Tide, he's going awful low. Is that going to be first blood? And it is. Supernova takes that kill. Definitely a lost lane now, I think. Yeah. And it all became from because he denied the middle. He lo they lost two waves, got out rest, and everything went downhill from there. Yeah. But now, let's see. They still haven't stacked. There's zero stacks in Radiant Jungle. No. They they tried once and the axe took it and then he's left half half of each camp in the mm -hmm. yeah. ancients aren't even stacked at all either so there's no real way they can get back into this mm -hmm. at this current stage although tide is going to stack the ancients now it's a good idea yeah yeah but now the problem is that tide needs to get level, oh, level. Scarath mage steeping bot lane that perhaps looking for a kill here because. Uh, Drow's gonna be fine. Won't be, won't be wanting the niche. Maybe yeah, won't be. This was a good TP because it's a night time now, and mm -hmm. they don't expect it. They didn't see him yeah. coming, and they don't expect it. Viper does have boots though, so maybe he can get away. Not with that slow. Stun oh, on axe, too beat. slow. Oh, that was a great cast as well. Yep. Good kill for Dank. How does the, this casting even work? Like, if there's something action is going on, I should shut the fuck up and you, you keep. Yeah, sure. The... Right. Okay, okay. So, Medusa and uh, Storm mid, fairly even matchup by the looks of it. Storm a little bit ahead, but you know, it's so that's, that's expected with the draw aura because if you have five, five range heroes, you most likely will win the leaning phase. That's the whole point of draw. Yeah. I'm gonna check the network. Yeah, as you can see, the network is getting out of control. Two thousand ahead at mm -hmm. already, almost two thousand ahead at yeah. five minutes. Set. A lot of that is on the uh, Drow versus the Viper. There's about five hundred there, and another five hundred on the Axe versus uh, Titan. Yeah, yeah. Like if if you compare the dual lanes, Axe. Axis their off lane tide is for their off lane. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Yeah. So and even even the support Skyrat and Witch Doctor have gotten some last hits. I mean some network ahead, so Yeah. If if I would be in like a radiant team, I would focus put all my effort in stacking. Every time you have mm -hmm. possibility to stack stack everything. They do have to be careful about the axe though, so that is an uh, issue when it comes to stacks. I will stack those uh, th these camps. Yeah. These camps are the most safest ones. And Medusa can oh. farm really well. Haste on Skyrath Mage. Oh. Medusa slowed. No mana for shield. And Storm 6. Gonna take another kill for Skyrath Mage. Great rotation from the top teams. 
forts, I guess. That's uh, level 4 for Scarath Mage, level 4 for Witch Doctor. Lich is actually level 5 because he's basically solo top now. And this, yeah. They keep alternating between the Tide and Lich, which one gets XP and which one like chases around some support or whatever. Yo, check this uh, warp top. Look, they even knew that the, the enemy team has a lane warp. Yeah. That they. Such a, like <laughs> one millimeter, you know, like it's. Yeah. It makes a huge oh, difference. Pro feels so safe. Every core hero on their team feels safe. They have middle fo farm, at, I mean, middle ward as well. Mm hmm. They are into. Meanwhile, takes a kill on the tide. Didn't see that one coming. Another oh, good wow. rotation from Rosencrantz, getting that kill. Yeah. yeah, this is getting out of hand. I mean, even Viper's farm isn't really anything to show. He's he's got the same CS as the Storm, but he's well behind the Drow and Storm in net worth. And you're just finishing off Treads and Aquila, whereas the Storm's got Treads, Bottle, and Null. Indeed. Venge places a ward down in mid lane. Kind of obvious how she did it though, so I can expect that to be dewarded yeah. fairly sharpish. Yeah, and they definitely saw the ward. Bottom they even pinged it out. <laughs> the, the biggest problem for them, I feel like, is the Tide Hunter. They need Tide Hunter the to do something. Yeah, something. because this is uh, a full stack of Ancients if he pulls it off, which he's not going to. I, so I don't know why that bla big Black Dragon didn't come. Hmm. This wants to be different, I guess. <laughs> Smoke up and bot jungle. And Rosencrantz looking for a kill top lane as well. Oh, TRP is going to be greedy. He's going to take the take the bounty under smoke. Mm, yeah, but they, I guess they didn't see. Although, most likely, everyone protects the safe lane carry. So, mm -hmm. but in this this time, he got lucky. Yeah, the observer ward spotting out Luda just out of range now, and that smoke is going to wear off. Hundred gold down the drain, but indeed, I feel like they should have gone for the viper kill. Mm -hmm. Because storm spirit is mostly uh, a magical damage, top and you should minutes. never underestimate the sky rat's magical amplification. Oh, from storm the jumping on Venge. Venge is slowed, silenced. Let's take the kill. I guess now they realize that their ancient shit are warded. Yeah, I mean, as a tight hunter on the field, it's one of those things you always do. You ward the ancients and try and steal them. Exactly. Yeah. Nope, oh, Scarath Mage trying to take them. The Not a good idea. Mm. Drow's just been oh. left up top with the Morbid Mask. She can sustain beyond any uh, harass that they put out top lane. Maybe when Ty gets sick, she has to worry, but you know, it's a ravage kill if, if, if they get the kill at all. So at the moment, let's see the network. Okay, yeah, it's 3.5k already at 10 minute mark, so they're get, it's getting out of control. So yeah. I feel like the main way how they can like do a comeback is they get they get the Tide Hunter level 6, then they're gonna smoke behind the Tide Hunter at top lane and try to kill Pro Ranger. And if it, if they manage, Tide Hunter will get level 7 from that, and then he can go and take the stack. Yeah. And that's the blink money that, that they need so badly. Yeah, the 3k net worth lead is mainly the Drow versus Viper, Storm versus Medusa, and m mostly Axe versus uh, Tide. 3.3k net worth on the Axe compared to 1.8k on the Tide. And Tide yeah. dies again! Solo. Solo Draw Ranger. Yeah. Frost Arrow is level 4, you can't run from that at all. The Cracker Shell doesn't help you, just gets reapplied. At per axe. Guys, He's got Tranquil Boots and almost a... Difficulty. This is his blink. Ten minutes in. Blink dagger oh, on axe. Top towers and bad yeah, shape. and uh, reach a oh. rune on uh, Storm Street. His timing. Yeah. Well. And they will get the kill. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to bust down Radiant structures now. Radiant's top towers hurting. A lot of damage on from T.O.P. but he's just going to TP out. But Capella, he's a, he's a little bit stuck there. Doesn't want to take the tower. And Drow takes the tower top in the meantime. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. So we basically know that uh, Dyer's team is 
getting out of control. Yes. And with a storm spirit, it was a very, oh, no, very yeah, much a. Look at that. Another kill. This time he silenced. He's six, but he can't do anything. Another kill by Supernova. Four zero zero. Yeah, that was a mistake from Hazard. Like he he died even under the tower. Now he goes to the lane without the tower. Like that was even greedier than before. Yeah. Three minutes faster than the average professional game. M O M. Hmm. How many how many points of data is that? Because I don't know how often Drow is picked. I guess uh, quite often, I believe, because yeah. draw, draw stat is quite mm -hmm. common. Zipshot. GOP is taking a lot of damage, but he's. Uh... And they got it. Oh! Ravage! He's got TOP! He's low! He's low! 95 games of MOM. Not quite the. Where's Dr. Ulti? Viper ult. Storm. He's gonna tick. Is he gonna tick? Nope, he's gone. Tide. 36 HP left on him. Three for zero trade. TOP getting out on the skin of his teeth. And and can you imagine? That was mostly five versus five fight. And the axe blinked into the this spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he blinked in and did nothing, and they still got owned really hard. Yeah. Is that Bloodstone for TOP? That's, looks like that's what he's going to get. Just needs 1500 gold for that. Oh, oh they, they see the stack! That's. that's no, I don't know what they can do anymore. Like, no. That stack was the only way that Tidehunter could have gotten blink. Yeah. The people would have blinked in, used the Lich ulti and Medusa ulti. Maybe they would have had a chance to do a comeback. But now it's really hard. Now yeah. it's it's not, it's not. At the moment, it's out of their hands. At the moment. Mm -hmm. They need the enemy team to make uh, mistakes now, because the, the whole map will be out of their control now. Like, they cannot go out of this uh, site anymore, because yeah. the enemy team has so much mobile heroes. They have Axe Blink, Storm Spirit, Ultimate, Sky Rat, that they have so much burst damage, <laughs> so they cannot farm anymore. Yeah, they've got all these aggressive wards that they can't really use, because they, they can't leave that line. Yeah, and like, 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 a, like I just said, see, they're oh. farming their jungle now. Yeah. Storm, he's he's kind of high, he's kind of low on HP. He's living on the edge. Yeah. Courier. But they but they can't stop a uh, they can't stop a uh, stop top storm street anymore. Mm. No. Oh Axe call. Mystic flare. Does it miss? I don't know. Axe. Axe takes oh, a fall. A Their first kill goes towards the lich. Lich got both their kills. MVP lich. No, T.O.P. Getting revenge. And now he's out. He's gonna get swapped? No? Oh no, why didn't he swap? What's going on? What's Vengeful doing? Oh, he's running. True Ranger is coming in, but still, they would have gotten one kill. Their average would have been up in five seconds. Yeah. Instead, it's a two for two trade. The best trade of the game so far. But Yeah. <laughs> but, but the biggest problem is the two kills that they got went to the Lich. The most useless hero in their team. Yeah. Basically, like what's what's gonna leech do? Only he he, leech he bought tranquils and a magic wand with that. Yeah, but uh, that's uh, irrelevant. Like, if if they would have uh, fo like uh, put the purpose that uh, I mean focus on le leech to get mech, then yeah. getting those two kills yeah. would have made I, sense. I, but I, they're getting mech on wiper, so yeah. leech has nothing to get with those two oh, kills. Storm jumping in again. Hazel's dead. Storm one last kill. Yes, that. So they're getting basically. Radiance bottom they, tower. They're getting, they're, they're getting. They need to get a ward up there. They need a ward up here. That's the ward they need so badly. So whenever the enemy team TPs bottom, they at least can see who TPs. So they have some idea what's going on. Yeah. But at the moment, they have no vision at all. Uh, only one and only ward was instantly uh, dewarded. Yeah. Almost got a blade mail on the axe now. Sanjin Yasha on the drow. I think I feel like uh, this is the time for uh, the desperation smokes for mm -hmm. the radiant team. Yeah. <laughs> Sixteen minutes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it's the most likely because people don't go first item. Yeah. Them. It's or hit mostly. Yeah. But in this game, he can go. He doesn't actually need the or hit. He doesn't need to silence anyone. Yeah, they got quite a lot of lockdown anyway. So the. Uh... 
they, Witch Doctor. They don't, and they don't have heroes that, uh, like, like they don't have Mirana or Antimate or something that can, like, blink away or leap away. Yeah. Yeah, like, one, hit, one hero can be saved by swap, maybe, but then the Avenger's dead, so... Yeah, and Orhid wouldn't actually make a difference if... Yeah. But Orhid is just better for killing, but if it's a long Three fight, then Flotstone is better. Jumps in. Oh, Skyrat did a really smart silence. Tides. Yeah. Didn't get the audio. Now Storm's back. I'm just gonna walk away though, I think. This is a this is a 4v5 engagement. Drow isn't even here. Juice are dead. Cask. Cask of Destiny. Sixth fastest professional game. Impressive. Radiance toughened up the structures. So that was a five for two trade with Aegis and a four v five engagement. Supernova takes tier two and half a tier three. This is looking really grim. Everything snowballed out of the control at the early phases. Yep. And that, that that's what usually happens with Draw. Draw always gives the advantage to your lane. You have more damage. You have more right kill now. harassing potential. Just because Draw is really good at harassing as well in general. Yeah. And it, it makes every other hero Radiant's better with harassing. But better days. they need to do a desperation smoke. There's no other way. Yeah, they need a kill. Either on that Draw or the Storm. I don't think uh, Witch Doctor is going to be worth it. Well, we, we cannot forget that they have a really good turtle lineup. Like you cannot commit to a high ground push even with five heroes. But there are a lot of height, but still you can't commit against Medusa, Tidehunter, and Lich. That's so much AOE. Yeah. Storm, he's got all the mana. Is he just gonna stick around? Bold as brass. Medusa is in trouble. Supernova's looking for a kill. He's got Eagle Song as well. Silence. Look at that mana going down. Another solo kill for Supernova and a Dagon for Storm Spirit. Because why not at this point? Yeah. So if you were in Radiant team, what would you do? Um, flame my team. That's probably not going to help us win. <laughs> Yeah, because I look at the net worth. Net worth is over 20,000 at minute 19. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. One, one K a minute. Axe call mid. He can't solo kill him. They should take it. Should they, they should, he should have aggressive swept here. And then uh, Viper would have ultimated and they would have gotten a free kill under tower. Mm -hmm. They're playing too passively. They know they're behind. They have to make like risky decisions. If you don't make any risky decisions when you're so behind, you'll just lose by, by default. They're like, they know they're behind. They know they can't farm. You have to make risky plays. There's only there's, it's like, high high risk high reward. But th that's your only op only option. Like, there's yeah. no other option for you at the moment. I felt like uh, Axe called this boy, uh, Axe called Titanter here, and Vengeful was here. He could have swept him under the tower, Viper ulted, and that would have been a free kill. And every free kill you get is like two or three thousand for you at the moment, because it's twenty thousand net worth difference. Yeah. All right, carry on. Oh, Drow still needs a pause. Okay. So at the moment, what? Let's see what they have. Okay. Hmm. Medusa is going first by them. Sky, I guess. Basically, so, has nothing. Yeah. There's none. No one has anything on their team. Like Viper has a mech, but that's it. It's a. It's a. At the moment, if top st top teams comes and tries to high ground push, they actually have a chance to win, because it's such an early phase in the game that their skills still do a lot of damage. Yeah. I. If they go top, there's no tower either. So, that's a lot of the high ground advantage gone there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good point. Though. So they, l yeah. But uh, I most most likely, I don't think top and his top won't let his team throw. They will most likely wait for the next ages. Take the ages on storm spirit, storm spirit, and all other four heroes will go and attack the enemies 
wild draw ranger will take the rex. That's most likely what's going to happen. Yeah, it worked last time. And they even got a full team wipe for it as well, so there's no reason yeah. not to try it again. Exactly, Nick. They need a, they need to do a, a desperation smoke. Radiance they know that the uh, draw ranger has been farming this spot, and he has been this spot all game, like past, past 10 minutes. He has been farming the mi top lane, going ancients maybe, taking their ancients, and then going back to their jungle. Mm -hmm. So. So they have to pick up Draw. Like right now, Draw is a little bit out of position. They have to look, like do a desperation smoke, use uh, Vengeful's Fat Pass aggressively oh, on 2P Draw. jumping in. He gets Raw. Oh. They have Dagon on top now. Yep. Now they can just take this. Drow is rotating top to take the, the uh, yeah. racks there. What can they do? That's what I mean. Like. They're losing by, by default, they're not doing anything. You'll yeah. lose anyways, if you don't do anything. They'll get pick-offs with Storm Radiant Street, you can't get out of the... Uh, right outside now. of your map. If you go even inside your map, I mean inside your base, oh, you'll die, maybe. Storm again. Tide. He ravages, gets two. Without leech, they have no damage. Yep. And an Max call into... Axe taking... Taking damage. Blade mails. Two buybacks, can they get the axe? Tide dies again though. Scarf Mage in trouble. Supernova doing the damage. Look at it go! They got the draw though. They did get the draw. Yeah, Wiper got the kill on draw. That's a now, huge money. Did you sir? Snake? Oh, he doesn't dodge the snake and he gets it. No, he died. He died. Yeah. That was huge. Holy shit, look at Snuffle, look at Luda's gold. It's 2.8k gold. Storm? Oh no, Storm? The lane. Why? No, no, no. Why did you do that? You just got uh, a free kill. Yeah. Oh, now you just speed. And now he's dead. Yeah. And no. Still... No buybacks. Why does he have buyback? Oh, because he bought an orb before he died. I don't think they will get high. Uh, they, they will get tracks because the radiant team is so low. They will respawn so fast, so they can uh, like defend yeah. it. I don't know why they're staying radiant under the tower. They could definitely Running defend it. Throw ranger is mm -hmm. dead. I don't yep. know what they're doing at the moment. Just use your uh, any skill at the moment. Yeah. Like Gosh, that. showed him. Yeah, like Skyrat is out of mana almost. Like. Yeah. I don't know why they, they let the free damage on their range tracks. That was. Not necessary. Mm -hmm. But they defended just about. Cost them a lot. Yes. That's I don't a... even know how, how it went so well for them. I guess they do buybacks and uh, they were in such a small area. Yeah. Like, they, they spent however many seconds killing the tide twice. Exactly. He's rel relatively tanky. But now Medusa has a full Scardi if she wants to buy it. And she can actually get to the secret shop for the Orb of Venom. Yeah. Now, now killing Medusa is harder, and then Medusa is always a good torso hero and a late game hero. He's a he's a great divining carrier. He can even kill the mega creeps if needed. Yep. But they're pinging rush, so that's what they're gonna do, I think. Yeah, but it's not a bit. No, just on the minute minimum. No, I ne I never got knew how, and I, I don't know how it works. I, I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. It it makes my brain hurt. <laughs> Another storm kill, this time on the tide. Oh yeah, because Dagon 4, why not? I think uh, Vengeful could have saved him again with the, with the spam. Yeah. Axe has got himself a pipe now though, so that's that's a lot of the fi a fish's damage gone. Yeah, that's like an entire ravage worth of damage cancelled, that's a couple yeah. of bounces of lich ult. That's a pretty smart pickup, mm -hmm. for now, but if this game goes on for another 15 minutes, then it's not that useful. Then BKB would have been more useful. Yeah. Because pipe and BKB are have almost the same value. Storm jumps in on the Venge. Oh, Venge tries to... He actually gets the Viper out. Good swap by the Venge there. Fight Hunter has a Ravage now. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I hope Medusa doesn't go top lane again. Oh nice, he DPs out. Okay. Yeah. And now Drow's top, so it's a 4v4 this, engagement. This is the perfect time, like before when I said like, they should smoke right now. 
live uh, eventually state they have only they need eventually but right now you see Pro Ranger is solo pushing they saw it they saw him doing it before like five or ten times yeah. he, he always goes yeah it's the same farming pattern every carry hero like every carry almost does it so you should anticipate it go already like here and mm -hmm. then kill him Rush is gonna respawn soon like another 20 seconds and TOP's got a regen rune can we keep it running? Put himself a Dagon 5 with the recipe and the stash. He should jump he should jump to the radiant stash, grab his Dagon and jump out again. <laughs> but at the moment the the region room actually isn't that impactful as it is in the early stages because yeah. he has such a huge mana pool that it doesn't actually fill the fill the mana pool fast enough. Like when he uh respawned and jumped all the way across the map like that. I'm just on his mana pool. So I guess they're gonna do rush now. Mm -hmm. it's, they're heading towards it. Yeah. Radiant team can't contest it. No. So Drow's okay. going double butterfly. What really? Well, she's got one. She's got an eagle song. So unless it's E Blade, <laughs> for the you know E, e Blade from Drow, Dagon Five from Storm. <laughs> it has gotten a little bit out of control, and they can actually do such a clowny thing and still get away with it. Yeah. What? Okay, this is gonna now happen. They're gonna come. What? I feel like they have to bait Viper. Yes, Viper has to stay in front lines. Mm -hmm. Viper stays in front lines, and Vengeful swaps swaps him out when he gets up, gets in trouble. Or the other option is Vengeful does an aggressive swap on Pro Ranger or someone important. Yeah, I don't think they can do it on the Drow because she's got Aegis now. So it'd have to be yeah. either on the. Probably on the storm or the uh, witch doctor. I think would be the big target. Like, Medusa is top right now. He shouldn't be top. He you got a CP? The turtle. No, no, I mean he, he could use the mystic snake to kill the creep babe. Yeah. Instead, they're gonna lose the tier three, I think. Yeah, the, like right now, no one is killing the creep babe. Mm -hmm. down the and the structures like this. Yeah. <laughs> TOP in the trees. Casual Dagon. Axe call on two. Ravage on two. But it's stupid over. He's just in the back. He's hitting things. Two down. Three down on the buyback. Four down. Five down and two buybacks. <laughs> Lich falls again. Medusa ulti. Hitting four. Stort TOP. He's out. He's jumping back in to try and get him. Seven kills. GG called by... Team Fish, well played by T.O.P. and this is Storm Spirit, 15 and 1. I guess this was my first casting game and there was not much to cast. Basically, <laughs> they, they lost that, the laning phase. Yeah. All the small things gathered up. First of all, Vengeful didn't take a stun. That's uh, like a big no-no. You don't have enough killing potential with Viper then. Second of all, Lich didn't deny the top, but they lost the top really hard. They didn't stack enough. Everything went downhill. They just lost in lost the game in the first like ten minutes, yeah. and even five minutes, I would say. Right. They just forgot the priorities what they were supposed to do. But yeah, I guess whatever. Definitely well played by Supernova and TOP. Yeah.